the kafia and the, the banning of it from the legislature appropriate? So let's take a step back first. Uh, at Queen's Park in uh, the legislature, whether it's in the federal legislature or the provincial legislature, you are not permitted to wear anything that makes a political statement because all of our political statements are part of our debate. And we're not to have props, we're not to have anything that uh, supports any, any individual, we're not to have anything that supports a, a specific group, and we're not to wear anything that has a, makes a political statement. So that's what the standing orders say. And if you take a look at uh, my time, my six years there, um, I've done some stuff with the Peterborough Peets, and every time I wanted to wear a Peets jersey, I had to ask for unanimous consent to put the jersey on in the legislature, in the chamber itself, because I was supporting a specific team or specific group. When the Cancer Society comes in for Daffodil Day, we need consent from everyone to wear a daffodil in support of, of cancer patients. The kafia is being used to represent the Palestinian resistance. It's not that it's banned. There is no ban on it. It is any item that is being used for a prop or a political statement or in support of any individual group, you must receive unanimous consent for it. The NDP have decided to make this a very divisive, very political thing, and I'm not sure why they think that by standing up and saying, you're treating this group poorly by not allowing us to support this group, when the standing orders are clear that you cannot support any individual group without unanimous consent. It is not about Arabs. It is not about Muslims. That's not what this is about. This is a political statement that is being made in support of Palestinian resistance. And they have said it's in support of Palestinian resistance. By their own admission, it is a prop. And therefore, it can't be worn in the chamber without unanimous consent of all of the members.